Hi, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. If you're a regular viewer on my channel, you would know that the setup is different. It's a very chilled out video today. I thought that I would just share with you all everything that I have been doing to sort of, you know, keep my mental health in check because I know with the second wave of the pandemic, it's been quite hectic on all of us mentally uh, because we were all just recovering from the first wave and we thought everything's getting better and we could finally get rid of the masks and then it all just came crumbling down. So I've been seeing a lot of your requests uh, as to how to cope with anxiety, depression and all the different feelings you're having during this period of time. And uh, I being a healthcare worker myself, going to the hospital every day, it took me a while to get adjusted to what's been happening. Like even though I knew the second wave was coming and I could see it happening right in front of my eyes, the acceptance was low somewhere. I feel like now we have already accepted the wave it's just how to cope with it right so I'm here to share with you all a couple of things that you all can do in your apartment that is all apartment friendly that you can do just within the limited space of your home which will make you feel good help you cope better and I've done all of this before in the first wave as well and it's been helping me cope right now it's just basic life strategy so let's keep it very short and crisp and we'll dive straight into the video but before that if you're new here then hi I'm Sarah I make beauty and life content here on YouTube so if this is the first time you've come here then take a moment and hit the subscribe button also don't forget to hit the bell icon right next to it so that every time I upload a video you get notified and with that let's dive straight into this Alrighty then the first step that I literally vouch by every single time I tell you all I'm coping better one of the main reasons is because I started journaling again so journaling helps me big time what you basically have to do is just maintain a journal a notebook you don't have to write in it every single day I have a journal since 2013 so I have it since then and it's like my overwhelm book whenever I'm feeling overwhelmed with any emotion be it happy be it sad be it angry any of the extreme dreams I just go to the journal and pen down like I'm writing a book you know just like keep on writing everything that comes to my mind it doesn't have to be crisp it doesn't have to be the perfect English or grammar or anything because nobody's ever gonna read it you can read it one day and realize how much you've grown out of it because sometimes I read my pages from 2013 and 14 and realize how much I've grown and evolved as a person it's always good to reflect it's always good to look back and realize that you were struggling with something else that time and that time that was a struggle and today you're dealing with something else and you kind of just find therapy in your own words you find therapy in your own writings so journaling always always works keep a journal handy keep a couple of notebooks just by your bedside to just write down whenever you're feeling anxious or any self-harm thoughts or anything that's overwhelming bothering you or toxifying your mental energy just write it down see how it helps you and how you can cope better with it second thing that works absolutely well for me is calming fragrances you will always see a candle burning in my room or you will see me apply a fresh mist because fragrance has this calming effect on your senses it just totally nullifies everything that you've been thinking sometimes just take a whiff of that scent and you can think better think clearer and just refresh your energies so it's always good to have a fresh set of fragrances invest in your fragrance if that's what it takes I love the fragrances by Bath and Body Works I love the fragrances by Body Shop even some amazing indie companies make great candles some of the most relaxing fragrances to me personally is musk it's vanilla I really find it so so calming the one I have right here burning is the endless weekend by Bath and Body Works and one of my favorite body mists at the time is vanilla body mist by body shop so I will try to leave links for you all in the description box this is what I find calming but try to find your own fragrance and your own scent which is calming to you which relaxes your nerves and trust me it'll help you big time third most important thing which is the thing that I advocate the most on my channel and that is self-care routines be it skincare be it hair care be it taking a hot water shower just take a hot bath and come out and you'll feel so relaxed you always see that effect on your nerves but also along with that doing your skincare routines actually is really really helpful it's actually scientifically proven we always say that makeup is therapy and skincare is therapy but being an occupational therapist myself I can tell you that it actually is therapy when you do those repetitive motions 
and just indulge in uh, like you know taking care of yourself and reflect through the mirror and see it making a difference to your well-being you actually feel better because every day you would apply a skincare product and you'll feel a lot better so here I plug in my absolute favorite Derma Weave Hydra cleanser you know I wash by the cleanser and I absolutely love it I use it every single day it's just at my bathroom vanity at all times it's very great and very gentle on all skin types and then once I'm done with my shower at my vanity table in the room I apply my Nutriderm white mini moisturizing lotion on my face I let my skin nicely breathe on my face this moisturizer is super lightweight so I love using it in the day as well as in the night and then I also take care of my body by using the Derma Weave moisturizing lotion for dry skin conditions so I'll take a generous amount apply it nicely on my legs on my knees on my elbows and everything and just lather up really well after my shower so this is my post shower care routine it actually works really well for my skin is very relaxing to my nerves and senses as well and also just repeatedly indulging in this routine kind of gives me that bubble space of energy that is very calming to me that is only like my space like nobody can enter this space try to find that rhythm with your routines as well with your makeup therapy be it skincare therapy skincare is something we are all indulging in right now because we are home so makeup doesn't make a lot of sense but definitely definitely indulge in it number four that always works is venting to your friends of course we've done this a lot video calls were the thing in lockdown one and we are back again with it in lockdown two went out to your friends as much as you want take them on a video call whatever time of the night it may be you have video calling apps left right and center video call is the thing and is the jam right now so just call your friends talk to them like tell them what you feel tell them how you feel when your friends are not available and when you think that talking to your friends is getting very repetitive which was happening during lockdown one because everybody had the same stories to share it was all about kya hoga kya hoga kya hoga so then you go back to your option number one that was journaling because that will always work number five very very important and that is stop getting stuck into the social media vortex this is coming from a content creator herself even though I am on this platform and I encourage you to watch my videos I do not encourage you to continuously mindlessly scroll through Instagram or any social media app that is constantly just bombarding the same information I know social media has been the bone right now to circulate so many messages for oxygen beds for cylinders for plasma donors there's so much positivity on the social media but toxic positivity is also a thing constantly having to see the need the helplessness of people is also toxifying it is very toxic to me personally so I can only imagine because I go for a nine to five job that is at the hospital and I see the helplessness of just the general condition and then I come home and I scroll through social media and it's back again the same story so for me it has been very very uh, mentally engaging and frustrating at some point when I just like leave my phone and I cannot function anymore because after some time then all those thoughts just keep on going in your head so if you can just take a social media detox break this is the time for you to do it in fact I have been wanting to go on one for the longest time it sucks that I actually work on social media so I can't take it but if you have the opportunity take it number six is one of my favorites which is watch or feel good movie you always always will feel good when you watch these old romantic movies rom-coms is my personal favorite genre and Bollywood rom-coms is my personal favorite genre especially the early 2000s and the late 90s you know Shah Rukh Khan Saif Ali Khan phase where I love like hum to mujse dosti karoge kuch kuch hota hai like these are my movies this is my jam so I love watching these movies go on Netflix go on Prime Video and just keep on binge watching these movies even if you have to take a tub of ice cream a big bowl of popcorn and do it stop caring about that weight loss and all of that it feels so good you'll be thrown back to those memories when you used to watch those movies in theaters and uh, yeah you remember theaters how they felt so you love that feeling and you love watching a movie it'll just relax you and calm you down for three full hours number seven is taking care of a living thing be it a plant be it your pet be it anything that's living like a bird or my dog I love playing with my dog it is my escape definitely playing with fudge is like an escape to all the anxiety it just goes away when I'm with fudge because he just takes up all of my energy and my time or even watching plants I'm a person who cannot keep plants alive for the life of me but can you see how much this plant has been growing it's because I have been watching it quite regularly so take care of a life because it'll just make you feel better by seeing that plant grow seeing your dog happy and uh, seeing your cat happy and whatever pet 
that you have at home. Even if you don't have pets at home, you can go down and feed the stray dogs, feed the stray cats. The stray animals also do not have food right now. So go and take care of a life. Of course, wear your mask and of course, do all the precautions. Donate plasma if you're not vaccinated and if you've been COVID positive before. That is also you taking care of another life. It will really help you like contribute to a bigger cause and just help in general. Like you'll feel like you've done something. Trust me, it's the best feeling ever. It's the easiest step. Donating plasma is going to help you save a life who is struggling with COVID. So do that if you've not taken the vaccination yet and if you've been positive before. Number eight is listening to music. Music, of course, is a proven therapy. Music therapy is all the rage and it helps so many people. It definitely helps me as well. There's this particular playlist on Apple Music, iTunes, that I love listening to and that is Acoustic Hits. So it's like an acoustic version of all of the hit songs right now and I absolutely love that playlist. It's my uh, unwind playlist at night. I just play that and you know do my uh, skincare routine and like keep my things in place and everything and I'll go to bed listening to that song. Or you can find such a playlist on YouTube or on Spotify or whichever music playing app you go to and I'm sure music will always have an escape for you. Number nine has to be exercise. Now when I say exercise I don't mean that you need to exercise with a motive to lose weight or get into some particular shape. Stop stressing your body to go through that all over again. We all did that in lockdown one where home workouts and everything was all the rage and I still encourage that you do work out because of course exercise is always needed. Your body always needs that movement and if you're at home it lacks the movement. So you got to move your body but do whatever you feel like doing. Do whatever. If you want to skip, go skip. If you want to run, go run. Wear your mask and do it. If you just want to be at home, dance to impromptu music do that follow dance workouts i love following marfitt's workouts lift weights if that helps you do yoga poses if that helps you meditate if that helps you whatever helps you do it but don't like push yourself that i have to do it every day i have to do one hour workouts i have to lose this much weight i have to get to this target stop putting that much pressure on your body your mind is already going through a lot we're all going through a lot in this so don't put yourself under that pressure just exercise for giving yourself that movement and for letting those happy hormones be released so exercise only to feel good not to look good right now i'm sure you will look good you're always going to be looking good honey but just feel good is your main priority right now and lastly number 10 but definitely not the least that has to be on my list is praying praying is something that always gives me a lot of power good vibes and energy i'm a very spiritual person it doesn't have to be to a specific god if you do not believe in god that's completely all right but you can believe in the power of universe the universe always has something in store for us is what i strongly strongly believe so just pray to the universe for everything that you wish would happen everything that you have that you are blessed to have right now thank your stars for everything that you have thank your stars for having a home for having the laptop or the screen to watch this video right now and the safety and comfort of your zone right now so that when you're thanking them you can actually have a gratitude journal enlisted for yourself and then go ahead and pray for whatever you want right now the peace of mind the actual positivity uh, releasing your anxiety all of that will happen when you imbibe those good vibes so i strongly believe that praying helps and it's always helped me so just practice it and i'm sure it'll help you too so these were my 10 techniques to help calm you down to help get rid of the anxiety or just deal with it better i'm also going to leave mental health resources for you in the description box so in case you're dealing with a general anxiety disorder or a depression disorder or something even more serious and you desperately need professional help then don't forget to seek out help when you actually need it these were just certain techniques that if you're having Having those moments of anxiety, doubt or depressive feelings, I'm sure this will help you out somewhere. Start inculcating them. It's always helped me. So I thought I would share it with you all. If you liked today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. For today's video, Sarah Squad shout out goes to Khadija Emma. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. If you want to be a part of next video, Sarah Squad shout out, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon right next to it and also leave a comment down below saying hashtag Sarah Squad and you get a chance to be a part of my next video, Sarah Squad shout out. I will see you guys very soon another video. Bye guys. Love you. Mwah.